This is a video of uh, puzzles which are um, related to batteries or uh, current. For example, the Lexat cube, where we can see here there's one goal where you need to um, let's say when you press here, I give an example here. There's a cross. If I press again, it's gone. So, whenever I press, there's a cross like this and like this. That, depending on if it's off, it goes on, or on, it goes off. So I'll try to to do some moves here, so you can get an idea. Of course, the goal is to to light everything off. Unlikely that I'm going to manage this now, but just to give you an example of a. How this works. Oops, so. so you can see here. And so on. So everything has to go off. There is more games as well. A two dimension version is this lights out cube. Where you can see here again, you have pattern and when you press for example you can see the cross here so I'm trying to to solve if I can of course so and so on you need to find a strategy to to um, switch them off an interesting version is this one here just, just like the previous lights out cube that's how to let's out the puzzle but this this time we have uh, two colors. So, for example, if I press here, it's it's off, red, green. So it changes two colors before it goes off. And you need to solve it again and have all colors off. Last but not least is the deluxe um, lights out puzzle. This time it's a six times six grid, not five times five like the previous ones. So, in this case, you need to to do something similar, as you can see. So, it, there's more rules here, it's more um, uh, interesting puzzle, it has more puzzles actually. And uh, the theme is the, the usual one. The lights, the light three is a bit different. This is based on tic tac toe, and it's very, very nice game. This one, someone can get stuck with it uh, for for ages. So, the the difference with this one with the regular ones is that in this case, you need to um, choose a piece here, then automatically the computer chooses this one, then if I try to do this, then it will try to stop me here now. And of course I'm going to try to stop him as well. Now, if I try to go here, I'm going to lose, because the last one, the, the, I mean the first one that I pressed, which is the, the one that I did a long time ago, is going to disappear, so I'm not going to win. I'll, give you, I'll show you what I mean. When I press this one, this goes off. Because it, you always have exactly three, and now he wins the game. So this is a good example. This is a very, very nice game, actually. Quite different than the other ones. Now, the brain trainer, as you can see here. Let's turn this off. On. Sorry. So there's a few games. There's a find the rule. There's also calculations predictions, and so on. So here, for example, we need to find what is the next number. So 21 in this case. Or 23, yes, and so on. 5, 8, and so on. So you need to find, uh, um, it should be 11, I think. And so on. Or 13 here. There's more games uh, related to um, calculations. So it says four games, I think, this one. Now, let's go to the to this one, 
which is the Rubik slide, where you can see this moves like this and like this. So in this case, you need to um, uh, turn it around to match a pattern. So in this case, so go like this. You can see I move it like this, like or like this, or I can go make it turn, or the other way. And I have I have to um, um, uh, match a predefined pattern. And this is a Rubik slide. Yeah. Now this one is the revolution. This is a bit noisy, but anyway. Well, there's six different games, depending which which pattern you want to play, which uh, game you want to play. So in this case, if I, I need to find to find the and search to always find which one. So this you need to uh, to find fast. It's more like a speed game rather than a, and it's a bit noisy. So I'm going to close it <laughs> anyway. Another game is the last out, this one. So let's start. In this time, this time you need to try to choose to choose uh, between pieces. So, so, you, so you can get one or two or three away. For example, I'm going to choose those two. The computer is going to choose those four. I'm going to choose those those two. The computer is going to choose those three, and it left me with one. So I'm, I'm I lost the game now, and so on. So it's a bit different than the, the light side. Let's let's out. Um. Now this one is is a nice one here, the light three. Where in this case, I give an example. You need to choose. It's based on tic tac toe. So let's say I choose this part here. The computer is going to choose this one. So if I try to choose this one, he's going to try to stop me here. And then I'm going to choose this one because I don't want him to do anything, but he's going to stop me again here. Now, but if I press here, this is going to disappear because I can only have a maximum of three um, um, dots of my own. So I don't win, unfortunately, I won't win at the moment. And, and it, it, the game continues in, in uh, that way. So I can try and, and win. This is going to disappear next for me. So it, I'm not going to win even if I put here, you can see. So the game can continue for a while until um, uh, someone wins. So it's a very nice game, this one. It's a very, very, very nice game. And uh, it can, can take some time. It's a very nice diversion of the tic-tac-toe game. Now the tilt cube. This is based on gravity. So there are a few games following, uh, following a pattern or following something that lights and so on. Even choosing a game needs some, some tilting, which is an interesting uh, but very rare puzzle, this one here. Now talk, talking about tilting, we have this one here, the illuminations. This is based on gravity. So depending on, on how I, I rotate, the, the top one is going to change. So the goal here is to make all of them same, to make them all same uh, color or something like that. So let's see if I can make them all red. Of course, it's this one red, this one red, this one red. And if I move this one up, oh no, 
didn't become red, unfortunately. Okay, this is one of the games that is quite nice actually, because it's based on gravity. Anyway, ruminations. A very very interesting game is is the shifty puzzle. This one here, the shifty puzzle. So it's like this. This is one of the first. I don't know if it's the first puzzle that has a touch screen. So what happens in this case is um, you need to match some screen, you have to imagine that this is a belt going around in another belt, so five belts going around like this or vertically and you can move them around by touching the, let's start first one moment um, so here we have there's no sound, so you can see the, I'm moving this one, so yeah, I'll try to move now the, the one vertical one, and so on. So you need to match some pretty fine, pretty fine and uh, patterns. One of the um, more interesting games I, 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 I can say this uh, this uh, this game here. Um, Twenty five challenges I think it has. It's a very nice game. Now, of course we have some Tetris games. Well, this is a classic one with a brick. It's more like a video game, this one. So, uh, you, can, you, you can see that, uh, I don't know, from close. Or you can have um, this Tetris here. So this has a few games where you can see the design and depending on how it lights you have different games anyway it's a bit noisy <laughs> and uh, talking about Tetris this this came here so this is one of the biggest uh, um, Tetris games <laughs> And the goal here is to, to, to one player or two player to be able to get as many um, lines as possible like in the normal Tetris game. Let's go to the old games now. Like this one here, Logic 5. Well, you need to um, guess a number, which is a 3, 4 or, I don't know, 5 digit. So, if I press 5... Let's see. E. So we have the number here. We have one number correct. How about one, four, four, four? Okay, might be a bigger number. Anyway, you need to to be able to. Um, guess the number by using the clues. Here is going to show you um, how many numbers you have correct and here how many are in the correct sequence. So and using those you can try to find the number in as less moves as possible. Something like the mastermind but in a number and a computerized version. Now the Nemesis Factor. This is another interesting game. Welcome. Choose your player color. To this begin. has around 100 games, I think. Uh, red player. They have the red. You are on puzzle one. So you have your score is zero. And you choose puzzle different games. One, press any color to begin. Begin. You need to to find a correct.
Okay, it's red orange. So this time the solution was to Puzzle find all of them in, in this order. It was an easy Puzzle one. Anyway, it's a bit noisy, but you can you can see what you're trying to do here. Okay, so oh, let's see the revolution. Revolution. Well, there's six games. One of them is is a light speed, for example, where you need to. To find very fast which is lit. Otherwise, if you if you're not if you're late, you lose, and so on. So this has to do with speed mostly, and so on. So you get the idea. And. The more you play, the faster it goes. You have less time to... I'm too late. I lost the game. Anyway, so I got 11 correct, which is okay. Now, we cannot miss uh, puzzles like this one, which are all about, um, let's say, Playing like a Rubik's cube, for example, I'll open this one. Where is the, the button? Yeah. So it has more games, but the main game is to play like a Rubik's cube. For example, if I press this button, this row is going to move towards me. One, two, three, four. Now I, I can mix it up, like this, like this, like this. I can I can mix it up, mix it up quite badly actually. And so on, so it's already mixed up. The good thing is that if you um, uh, want to restart again, you, you can bring it back to this um, uh, solved position. So this is a nice. Uh, it's called I, I Game Seven. I think this is um, a predecessor or from the uh, E Cube puzzle, which is pretty nice actually. Now, of course, we have the, the Merlin. Uh, Okay, this one is more known than the, than other other puzzles. Okay, of course we have uh, the oldest electronic puzzle, the Princeps, which I don't know anyone in any other collection that has this puzzle. So you need some current for this one too. So it's based on binary. So when you press this button, some specific ones will open or close depending on of depending on if some other ones are already lit. So, binary puzzle, so there you go. Now, when uh, besides the light side cube, we have the, the orbit puzzle. Well, you do something similar. When I press this, all the around ones, if, if they're off, they're going to get lit. If they are lit, they're going to get off. I'll show you again if I press this one. So the goal is to have all of them off. And so on. Now, now illuminations based on gravity. A very nice puzzle, this one. Very rare puzzle as well. This one is the mini wizard. It's like a, a Simon. I think the Simon is the original one, where you can do many things. For example, you need to um, uh, uh, to try to just like with the, here the Nemesis to find out specific uh, um, sound. You can even make sound as well. So that's um, uh, try the, the match me, for example. Okay. So okay. 
Okay. So, okay, this is. Let, let's try and make some music instead. Music maker. So. And so on. So you can do many things with this one. It's also possible, but also you can play some sort of strange uh, piano as well. Now, this one here is a sliding puzzle, mostly. The genius one. So you need to light it on. The center one is okay. So you need to almost solve it, actually. And now it's solved, as you can see. But uh, when it's not many scrambled, it can, it can be quite an interesting challenge. This is a nice puzzle, genius one is quite rare as well. And uh, there are other puzzles as well which are um, interesting. Um, sometimes some not puzzles like this one. It doesn't have some batteries, you need to put some batteries where when you have them all green, the lights or all blue lights go on here. This is not really a puzzle, this it can also hit you with current, <laughs> it can give you electric shock. You think it's a cube, but it's not really a cube, it's a, it's a, um, a prank. Or this one, we can, uh, we can get the temperature as well, the time, and some alarm, as well the date. So, almost 15 Celsius, a bit uh, chilly here. And uh, last but not least, I have this nice little puzzle of why this happens with a current. If I touch here, you get some light. And the more people to create a circuit, the more energy it gets. So this is uh, the energy stick. It uses our own energy to create electricity. I hope you liked this video, and uh, yeah, that's it.